when discussing the birth of American liberty, and indeed the foundation of the free world. Modern histories will often lead to the time of the American Revolution. With men like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, and many others. But while these men were influential, the question remains, from where did they get the ideas they fought for? A common argument today is that their principles were born out of the Enlightenment in Europe, which ultimately produced the French Revolution. But that's false, because the Renaissance Enlightenment, as articulated by Voltaire and Rousseau and Robespierre, led to the violent French Revolution, which chopped 40,000 heads off. It was Robespierre who's the prototype for Lenin and all other violent revolutionaries. And these people were anti-God pagans. The revolution in France took place years after the American War of Independence. Yet while French radicals proclaimed ideas of liberty and equality, theirs was a freedom unrestrained by the authority of God. What needs to be understood is that back at the founding of our nation, all those Enlightenment folk were clearly impacted by Christian thought. And today we have some either dishonest or ill-informed lecturers and professors in universities advocating a false worldview as the foundation of the American constitutional system. Unlike the system of liberty achieved in America, the revolution in France ultimately produced the reign of terror. An early American minister named John Prince in 1798 warned his congregation about the deception of the movement. His belief was that, in France, liberty was no more than a decoy. The story of the French Revolution was the imposition of tyranny under the name of liberty. The French Revolution had gone awry, he said, because it had abandoned the necessary safeguards of liberty, authentic virtue, and Protestant Christianity. By contrast, the American Revolution did not produce tyranny or the mass killing of innocent people, but was based on legitimate grievances against King George III. While in France, the concept of rights was vague and uncertain, the American cause was based on lawful rights taken directly from the pages of the Bible. Rights which had been defined centuries before and could be traced from Magna Carta in England. The Magna Carta was understood by the people to be a fundamental covenant binding on future generations. To the first man ever to translate the Bible into English. Because he was a political thinker and philosopher as well as a theologian. And his argument very much was that you had to return the power to the people. To the Great Reformation that delivered mankind from the Dark Age. The impact that the Reformation had upon Western civilization was huge. The United States of America could not exist today but for the Protestant Reformation. And with the Reformers, we consider the mighty warriors of history who fought against the tyranny of kings with the Bible in one hand and the sword in the other. The government by which he is Lord Protector has a written constitution, which is the only time in British history we've had an actual single written document in the same way as America did afterwards. What is the standard for this? It was the law of God. It's a pity that many people today in America seem to think of the American War of Independence in isolation, not seeing how it was a continuation of the search for liberty and the quest for freedom uh, throughout the history of the English-speaking peoples. Without an understanding of the past, one cannot understand where we are in the present and certainly can't understand where we're going in the future. We begin our journey to discover the stories of those who struggled across the centuries for the cause of God-given liberty. By considering their lives and influence, we may better understand the true Christian history of America.